Godzilla X Kong. I waited a couple of days to do this review just to, you know, let things marinate. Wait out the honeymoon period. Overall, I did like this movie. I really did, uh, for the most part. I do see why people are um, kind of mixed on this movie, and I, I think I know why. There were parts that I uh, really liked, and there were parts that I were kind of, you know, just kind of meh, didn't care for. Um, so let's start out with the positives. Right? Let's start with the um, parts I did like. Um, of course, the monster action. It had more personality, I feel like more much more elaborate due to the fact that uh they've developed kong to have more human-like aspects to him um and as you saw in the trailers there were like m many other big apes like kong and they all share humanistic you know traits with you know the faces and the mannerisms and such so there's that and i really like the fact that this movie has mostly uh day daytime uh, fights nighttime is okay but i feel like the daytime just has much more impact in my opinion this movie made me like kong more you know i mean this movie was i would say mainly a kong movie he's in it more than godzilla um kind of have a mixed feelings about that as well because i like godzilla more than kong but you know the movie does a great job of making the audience like kong you know more as a character uh, not necessarily more than Godzilla, but like as Kong as a character, he's become more of a matured, like protector, guardian, you know, um, him and his acts, you know, his everyday life and uh, his daily activities are, are kind of shown in this movie and his interactions with mini Kong. I think a lot of you guys share this opinion as well, but he reminds me of Kratos from uh, the God of War games, you know, the beard and the axe and like behavior when he's like with the his child essentially yeah mini kong was a surprisingly good uh aspect of the movie i you know from watching the trailer i didn't think i'd like this character all that much but he ended up being a good presence to be with with kong yeah those were just great scenes to watch scar king scar king was a good villain i really like scar king <laughs> how like ruthless he was he's evil in a way where he like he he, he enjoys the pain of, of the other apes the way he smiles and like has that smug look to him um and he's a he's also a capable fighter i kind of wish he was more more of a intimidating figure in the movie i felt like he relied on shimo too much in my opinion now okay Godzilla. Godzilla's new form. I know, you know, I don't know if you, you know, if any of you saw my uh, video I made uh, months ago about how I didn't like the new design. Um, I feel like now I got used to it. And after watching the movie, there were shots where he, like, the new form looked good. Right? Yeah. Like the, the his new form, I've grown to kind of like. Uh, do I prefer it over the, you know, the traditional 2019, 2021 look? No, uh, I still prefer that look overall, but I don't mind this new design at all. And dare I say, I, I don't think I'd mind if they kept it, to be honest. I mean, I don't think he, I don't think he used his tail too much. Like he didn't really show any of his, any of his new, like, like abilities of his new form apart from like the um, i guess the the, the the beam the more powerful uh, atomic breath and i guess his uh, more athletic athletic prowess with how fast he moved in some uh, scenes i guess those were probably the main be benefits but if, he, if you're gonna give him like a lot of extra spikes you know his arms and the thagomizer uh, on his tail i mean i, I would have liked to see him use it you know like, I thought he'd be using that uh, on Shimu. Yeah, overall, I've, I think I'm, I've grown to like the Godzilla's new form. There were just, there were certain scenes where he looked better than in other scenes. Uh, but I think that's just the CGI, I think. Because in some scenes, he looked more, uh, he looked slightly more thicker in the new form. And there were some scenes where he looked skinnier. The, the pink, I've, 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 I've uh, the pink, I kind of tolerate. I like the fact that it's more of a dark pink. I guess in the movie uh, there were some shots they looked more purple which I liked because you know purple is more of a I'd say a suiting 
a better color for Godzilla. I think I'm in the camp where I like the more fantastical aspects of this movie. Some I think some people are kind of turned off of like uh, you know the depths of how kind of outworldly Hollow Earth is with like you know the village and the gravity. You know I I like it. I've kind of accepted how this franchise has kind of gone to the Showa era type feel. Well, you kind of have to kind of tread carefully, you know. So for the things I didn't like, um, I feel like this is in every uh, review on this movie, but the humans, the humans, I did not care for. They were literally just serving the purpose of, oh, uh, Godzilla is now doing this. Kong is now doing that. Um, this is happening and that is happening. They're literally there to tell, like, I guess the audience tell them that, hey, this is going on. They were really only good for, you know, helping Kong when his hand got frostbite. So humans are more shallow. Uh, the only good human characters, I feel like, were Gia and her mother and the um, the village people. I like those people. I feel like this movie should have focused, should have had less humans. I don't necessarily oppose having humans in Godzilla, I, I kind of think they you kind of need them, but you have to keep them in, in the low, you know, you gotta keep them sparse, two, three main characters max, right, I'd say, screw it, I'd say two main characters just for the sake of, like, the monster battles, like, keep it about Gia and her mother, um, I would just be fine if it was just Gia and the villagers, you know what I'm saying, um, I would just keep keep because like her her story with her connection with Hollow Earth and Kong and all that is, uh, and Mothra her connection to Mothra is like is really I find really cool, and I feel like you know it could have been, it could have been explored more you know, if it didn't have all that BS like I like I don't like I don't like that Bernie character, comedic relief character, uh, Trapper I didn't really care for either he's a. Uh, we could have done without them to be honest the humor didn't like none of the humor landed for me trapper was just there in my opinion just to like fix up kong and all that but you know he didn't really have to be a character he could have just been like a you know a, a one-time phone call from the the damn uh the mother say oh fix kong up okay scar king while he was shown to be formidable i kind of didn't like the parts where he, like, he relied too much on shimu he should have done more things on his own you know, I like Shimu as a, you know, as a character and all that, as a as a, the monster, but I feel like I would have made the choice of making Shimu a a villain, like an actual true villain. Like if Shimu was not under <laughs> under you know slavery, <laughs> under Scar King, and he he was she was just acting on her own will, being evil, helping Scar King. I feel like we'd have, we would have had a more personal, more brutal fight, you know, more awesome fight between Kong, Godzilla, and Shimu, and Scar King. Like we, I think we would have gotten like a really badass kill shot from either, I would say Godzilla, um, a kill shot from Godzilla towards Shimu, like you know. And lastly, Godzilla being a side character, you know, for the past two movies, he has kind of been. He's just been a side character for like two Kong movies in a row, in my opinion, you know. Um, in this movie, Godzilla is more of like, oh, he's doing this for this reason. And cuts back to a, um, a human or a Kong scene and he appears again. He kills <laughs> he kills uh, monsters off screen as well, which is kind of dumb. Yeah, Godzilla was just more of a tool in this movie, you know, like a tool to be used by the protagonist. Like Kong and you know the humans um, you know he didn't really feel characterized in my opinion um, I have heard that uh, Adam Wingard said that the next movie will be more Godzilla focused and I'm like oh thank God I hope he does him justice hope him I hope he gives Godzilla more personality um, I know some people are I know some people are kind of against giving Godzilla like a bombastic personality but it's like if you want 
Godzilla to carry movies like Kong does. Like he, you have to give him, in my opinion, you have to give him more character because he can't just be like this mindless, not mindless, but like you know, just a uh, a numb creature who just protects Earth. Like you can have that, but like what he needs to be like a suitable long-term monster versus character, other than like randomly showing up to wreck stuff. Give him some character, you know. Overall, you know, I like the movie. The narrative was much more fantastical, which I personally liked. And I know some people um, have mixed feelings about the movie. I feel like narrative-wise, this movie was more shallow, even you know, more shallow than the rest. Uh, I do feel like it, like you know, the pacing was fast, and um, I feel like I see this in a lot. See it in a lot of like. I guess action movies of late where like they just don't take time with like characters and they just they, they just have to move on to the next scene to the next scene next action scene and while that's good and all and you know i'm in the camp of going for uh you know the showa type feeling to these movies the monster battles absolutely carry the film i mean that's kind of expected cool monster battle action can only hold up the weight for so long you know until it gets kind of tiresome to see shallow narrative after shallow narrative i feel like um you have to strike you have to have a balance if you want the monsterverse to survive you have to have a strike of balance between having a good narrative and cool action sequences i feel like godzilla 2014 as good as strong as it was narratively it it kind of abandoned cool monster fights in my opinion godzilla versus kong it, it favored more monster battles than good human characters and character development so you, you gotta strike that balance can adam wingard do it maybe uh, i feel like he definitely needs help from like other writers like multiple like mike doherty and gareth edwards put them two in a room i feel like them two both of them can just strike a balance between cool monster action and uh, a good story all right, and you know, I have Adam Wingard kind of be like the, because he's a Godzilla fan as well. So I feel like he'd do justice in like accomplishing that, in my opinion. So there's that. If it comes to the point where these movies become like like Fast and the Furious, but it, it, it keeps going, but it gets dumber every time, even by Showa standards, then this 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 MonsterVerse thing will just cease to exist or just exist in comic books or like some CW TV show type like trash <laughs> on Hulu or some shit. The fate of this this uh Monsterverse the Monsterverse rests on Adam Wingard's hands. And you know the future is looking bright. Um this movie is one of the top grossing movies of twenty twenty four. I've seen like it's the third highest grossing film in its opening weekend. It's like hundred and ninety four million, like that's crazy for uh, today's day and age with you know streaming and all that. And you know, I've seen so many movies bomb. I'm like, damn. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad to see this uh, this franchise and you know, Godzilla in general thriving in uh, today's world. I think overall, I give this movie a seven out of ten. A solid seven out of ten. It's a good movie. It's not the best because I feel like when I, you know, the giddy feeling I felt coming out of this movie didn't last as long as. It did when I uh, got got out of uh, King of the Monsters. King, yeah, King of the Monsters was a special film uh, to me personally. Um, but yeah, it's a seven out of ten. It would have been a six out of ten if, um, like, they, yeah, seven out of ten purely for you know the Godzilla moments. Um, It would have been a 6 out of 10 if it was just Kong. Like, if, let's say, like, uh, Godzilla was nowhere to be found until the last minute of the movie. And it was just Kong for, like, 90% of the movie. I, this movie would have been a 6. But, you know, I'm a sucker for, you know, Godzilla, so... 7 out of 10. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited to see the future of this MonsterVerse. Um... You know, heed what I say. If, you know, Anna Wingard, if you're watching this, then heed what I say. I feel like, you know, we we all want the survival of this this franchise. And, um, yeah. 
and this just goes to show like we can have both the crazy action and the seriousness of uh, Godzilla minus one like we, we can have both man so stop all the whining enjoy this magnificent creature and move on with your lives all right next video i will be talking about my theory for the next movie which i think uh, it'll kind of rustle some feathers but see if you guys like my theory see you in the next one goodbye